In today's video, you're gonna learn how to create this bubble letter text using Canva. Let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a design. And for this one, I'm going to choose Instagram post portrait. Now there are a few ingredients that we're gonna need in order to pull off this design. So first up is the background photo, the bubble letters, then the shadows, then the overlay or the texture. And then of course, we'll add in some fonts at the end. So first up, let's go ahead and add in our photo. So we're gonna go over to photos, and we're gonna search for Canva Hollow AI. And here's our selection of photos, and we're looking for this photo right here with this hand. And then we're going to rotate this by just dragging this handle here, and we want it to be at about 90 degrees. All right, now that we've got that rotated, it's time to remove the background. I'm going to use Magic Grab, which is a Canva Pro feature, but you could remove the background by using a site like remove.bg or unscreen.com. If you wanna try out Canva Pro, I'll leave a link in the description so you can test it out for 45 days for free. Once you've removed your background, bring it back into our design. So I'm going to go up to edit photo and click on Magic Grab because I just want to separate this hand from the background. And there we go. Now I have a separate layer of this hand. All right, now remember our ingredients was background photo, next up bubble letters. So we're gonna go to the object panel and click on elements and then search for bubble letter. Now the ones that I'm going to use are pro elements, but as you can see, when you click on the graphics tab, there's also gonna be plenty here that you can use that are free elements. So for instance, you could bring in something like this, or you could bring in something like this. So just play around, depending on your account type, you're gonna be able to pull off this effect. All right, so the ones I'm looking for are right here. And so I'm going to click on these three dots because I know this is part of a collection and I wanna be able to see the entire collection. So here we go, view collection. And I'm gonna start bringing in all of the letters that I wanna use for our message. All right, so all the letters are in, but we've got a little bit of work to do on the layout. So I'm gonna start positioning these letters to where I want them to be. All right, so all the letters are positioned the way that we want them to be. Now it's time for our next ingredient, which is shadows, right? So what we're gonna do is start adding in shadows so that it makes it look like the letters are resting on top of each other. So to find that, we're gonna go back over to the object panel and search for shadows. And there's tons of different shadow options here. Again, some of them are pro, some of them are free. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here and I'm going to start adding this shadow behind each of these letters. Before I do that, I want to change the color of this shadow. So to do that, I'm gonna go up to edit photo and then scroll down here under effects and we're looking for duo tone. So you can click on any one of these and open it up and we're just gonna take this eyedropper tool and click somewhere here. So that's what we're gonna go with. So that's the first top layer, the highlights, and we're gonna do the same thing for shadows. Use this eyedropper tool, and we're gonna search for something in here, and I'm gonna start repositioning this and move it behind the letter A by clicking on position, and then toggling over to the layers tab, and I'm just going to start dragging this until it ends up behind that A there. All right, so that already is looking pretty good. I may actually go a little bit darker here. So I'm gonna click on edit photo, go back to duotone, and I'm gonna drag this down a little bit more and copy this hex code here and paste it in here. So that looks better to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing this for all of the letters here. So as you can see, I'm just going through copying things rotating them, repositioning them, scaling them down or up, depending on the letter, and then I move on to the next one. Okay, now it's time to get this hand in place so that it looks like it's kind of holding up the made with Canva text. So we're gonna go ahead, move this layer down, and I'm gonna resize it so it's a lot bigger. I kinda want that thumb to end up somewhere around the end there. So something like this and I'm gonna select everything here and then deselect the hand by clicking on shift. And let's bring this up, maybe reposition it so it's a little bit smaller. So that's looking pretty good, I like that, right? We want to duplicate this hand so that the thumb is going in front. 
So we're just going to go ahead and copy that and paste that and then line it up so that it's perfectly on top of the other hand. And then we can get rid of this side of the hand because we just don't need it. So now you can see the thumb is on top of the end. So it's co actually covering it up a little bit too much. So I'm gonna select both of these layers again, maybe bring it down a little bit because we, we do wanna be able to see the end. We just want a little portion of it covered up. So now that we've got the hand in place, in the real world, we might see a little bit of a shadow from the thumb to the end. So I'm gonna copy one of our other shadows and place that in between the thumb and the end. So it's gonna be over the end, but behind the thumb, something like that. So our next ingredient is overlay or texture. So we're gonna go over to elements again, and this time we're gonna search for overlay. So I find that sometimes these film leaks work really well, these film textures. So this is a film burn. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize this one. And it might look a little bit grainy. We, we want it to look grainy, but we don't want it to look pixelated. So I'm gonna bring down the transparency just a little bit here. But we're just looking for a little bit of texture. So I'll probably bring this down just a little bit more, maybe go down to like 60%. And then the last ingredient that we're gonna add here is our text. So I'm imagining that this might be something like a poster a movie poster for a designer who falls in love, right? Their two worlds collide, even though many people say real designers don't use Canva. Well, this designer couldn't help who he fell in love with and his design tool of choice was Canva. All right, so let's go ahead and add in some text here and I'm gonna adjust the letter spacing and then we'll say something like, one man's journey through a world of pixels to find his true love. Canva. And there you have it, our design is done. You can find this exact template in the description of this video so that you can open it up, play with all the different layers and textures, go nuts and make your own design. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Now it's time for you to go create something amazing. I'll see you next time.